Do you have an update on Buster? Yeah, you know what? He, he's doing okay. He, he's he's fine right now. We'll continue, uh, you know, to keep an eye on him. Uh, he'll be under observation uh, tonight. We'll re-evaluate him tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you just got to, uh, you know, give these things time. But uh, he's doing good. He's doing fine. And uh, so we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, no. Now we we have our docs here, and uh, you know they looked at him, and he's doing okay right now. What, did he complain of any? No, he's no complaints of anything right now. He he's doing well. J just to check, he he was checked for a concussion. Is that fair to say? Or or did, yeah, I did think he that's go fair that? to say. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. I don't know what all they did, uh, but uh, I know our docs were, uh, were here, and they they checked him out pretty good. Uh, he might have. I talked to him briefly after the game, but uh, he, he might have gone home. Bruce, was that the craziest three runs you've ever seen scored in that one 20-foot fight or 20-foot hit right there? Um, it, yeah, it was right up there. You know, I, I'm trying to think when I've seen uh, three runs score like that. Uh, we call them RTIs, uh, runs thrown in. And... Uh, we had we had three of them. Uh, it was crazy ending. Uh, um, Maddie just got an, uh, enough of it. Uh, he hit, he hit it in a good spot, and uh, then uh, you know they were all rush throws, and uh, fortunately we took advantage of it because we had trouble, you know, getting some runs there. So you know we'll, we'll take that break. Uh, it's nice to add on that last one. Uh, we did a good job of getting the guy over, getting him in with the Crawford's uh, deep fly ball, but. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a bit of a crazy ending there. Bruce, uh, you and Gresh didn't waste any time at all taking Posey out. Did that have anything to do with his reaction on the field, or just because of what you saw? You know what, uh, Henry? I think more than anything, uh, you know, he he was hitting the head, and uh, he's a catcher. So now he's even more at risk if he's catching, takes a foul tip. Now that puts him even at more risk. So we we didn't want to. Uh, risk that, and uh, so that's why he came out. Uh, you know, uh, could we have taken a little time uh, uh, if he was a, a position player? Maybe, but being a catcher, it means uh, susceptible to foul tips. That's why he came out right away. Uh, Bruce, in those are specific cases, and being him a catcher and everything, and having the seven-day list as opposed to they didn't have that before. Is it automatic that they, you're going to use that seven-day list to arrest him and make sure? No, no. You know, only if you think he has uh, concussion symptoms would you do that. And uh, you know, it's a it's a scary moment, dangerous moment, but uh, doesn't mean that uh, there's something there. And so, you know, he'll uh, he'll go home, and uh, we'll keep an eye on him and reevaluate him tomorrow, and uh, we'll go from there. Bruce, we, we all heard the sound. I mean, you were right there. What, what, what was that like to hear that? And Greshner, who seemed to be running out almost before you know the play was even over, just what was your reaction right on, on in, the, in the dugout when you heard that? Well, it's it's one of the worst sounds you. I mean, you can hear uh, um, yeah, in baseball. Yeah, uh, you know, the ball hitting the helmet. Uh, it's a scary moment. Uh, I mean, there's been a lot of damage to hitters. You know, hit hit in the head area. There there were a few balls up and in uh, today and. Uh, and so, you know, that's always uh, a moment where you hold your breath. Um, obviously, Grish got out there. I, you know, I got out there as quick as I could, and uh, just to see uh, how he was doing. But um, you know, that's why you wear helmets. You have the protection, uh, and my hope is it's fine uh, because of uh, you know him wearing a helmet and the type of helmets that we have now and the uh, protection that they provide for. Uh, the hitter. So, um, but like I said, he he might have stayed in the game if he wasn't a catcher. Now if he takes another shot. Now, yeah, you're asking for trouble. You had more initially bunning. Why was that? To avoid the double play, or to maybe sneak a run across and have him throw to first if he got it um, down. Well, that was probably my fault. Uh, I really didn't want him bunning. So, but I won't go into it. Uh, you know. Uh, he ended up having a swinging bunt, so it worked out pretty good. But, uh, you know, the last thing uh, you want him to do is hit into a double play. But, 
you know, I, I really didn't want him bunning there. I, I, I said I'm not going to go into it. Bruce, just to, to clarify, the pitch by Walker you viewed as that was just a mistake, unintentional, and, and the, there was speculation that when Moore hit, um, I forgot who it was, Peralta, that that might have been retaliation? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's part of the game where you're going to have uh, questions or doubts or speculation. You know, when a guy gets hit, uh, I mean, I don't think any pitcher's trying to hit somebody in the head, you know. Uh, and that's why, you know, working up and in is, you know, it's a dangerous place, a dangerous area, unless you have command of that pitch. And uh, so, and we saw a few of them today, um, you know, and obviously we're trying to, you know, our guy's cruising and, you know, having a good game. And uh, so, you know, he's, his ball just ran in there. That's, I'll leave it at that. Bruce and Moore had 93 pitches after eight. Any thought to having him start the ninth at least, or what was the thinking about going to lands in there? Well, that that was the second start of the year. You know, I know I pushed Johnny a little bit yesterday, uh, but that really, uh, he second start that that's far enough. And you know, we got Mark here to help out and uh, and take a load off these starters uh, in that type of situation. Uh, could I send him back out there? Yeah. I, I could have, but uh, you know that's a luxury having one of the elite closers in the game where you can give uh, your starter a break. Now they had two pretty good uh, right-hand hitters that you know facing uh, uh, Matty for what the fourth time. So you know it breaks that up a little bit, allows you to put a pinch hitter in there, maybe add on. Uh, well, first of all, uh, who's your emergency catcher right now? And second of all, do you need to bring up uh, Fedorovich or somebody just to, you know, just in case uh, you need to make a move? No, we have no plans to call somebody up. Um, he just found out today, our third catcher, uh, he found out a little late in the ball game, but uh, it's Aaron Hill. And so, yeah, yeah, but really, Henry, I, it's, I mean, and none of them have experience catching, uh, to be honest. And, and really, whoever uh, have not used could be the the third catcher. So I'll, uh, I don't really have one uh, at this point. Uh, generally speaking, could you please talk about the importance of winning this game today, opening day here after the trip, uh, not so uh, bright? Um, yeah, no question. I mean, we had a rough trip, and um, you know, had a couple slip away, and we're home. I mean, the, you know, the home crowd, the opening day here, uh, you know, it, it just I thought energized the players so much. It was a very emotional uh, day, um, you know, you know, with uh, Corinne Owens here. Um, you know, Ryan was part of us. And spent some time with us, and uh, so it, it was a very emotional day, you know. Uh, you know, with uh, you know this man who uh, you know did so much, uh, you know, for us enjoy our freedom, and and uh, because of his dedication, he he lost his life, and you know to have her here, I thought it really meant a lot to the players because they, you know, the players were pretty close to Ryan. He would come in spring training, hang with us, and. Uh, they all knew him at the ballpark there in spring training. I mean, he was, you know, just had a big personality. And uh, uh, so I I thought it was important uh, for us to go out and play well and win this ball game. Bruce, uh, that caution that you talked about with Buster today because he's a catcher. It, it seems like that's something that uh, maybe has that mindset has changed a bit, maybe since you played. And uh, well, do you agree? And is, oh, no is that a good thing? No question. It's changed a little bit. I don't know if they would have checked on me if I were to get hit in the head. To be honest, but uh, no, it's you know it's the protocol now. You get hit in the head, and uh, you know it's a good chance you're coming out anyway. And uh, so no, it's that's the way of our game. And uh, you know because of more information, education. Uh, you know, we're, we're not taking uh, these uh, risks that are involved with guys getting hit in the head. It, hasn't there been some issue about Buster being susceptible to concussions because of all the hits he's had taken off the mask over the course of the years? I'm sorry. 
hasn't there been some issue with Buster because of all the hits he's taken off the mask all over over the course of the years that he might be more susceptible to concussions? Yeah, we, we don't know for for a fact. We don't. But, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, it, it's it's debatable what, you know, the different masks, you know, the protection they provide you. But, uh, you know, they've done studies on them and they, uh, you know, they feel like these uh, do provide more protection because of the protection on the side of the face. Are you asking that tomorrow uh, there's a good chance. I, I can't say that for sure. I know. 